Kamara Usman won via TKO, like broken jaw and follow-up punches, even though the broken jaw happened a little bit earlier, uh, in round five. There's 50 seconds remaining. Um, Mike, I'll let you go with this one first, and I'll back clean up. So how do you feel about this main main event? I, I thought this was one of the best main event fights that I've seen in a long time. I uh, I knew it was going to be a great fight, but I, I didn't necessarily expect it to, to be a striking war for the whole entire time. I was super impressed with not only just Usman, but I was super impressed with Colby. Um, I was co- impressed with him and his determination, even when he got his job broken after the third round. The fact that, I mean, most, most people just quit and uh, they can't bear the pain, let alone get hit in it for two more rounds by the champion of the world. So I, uh, I just the heart that he has is just amazing. But uh, Kamaru Usman uh, performed amazingly himself. He overcame uh, all the stress that comes with being the champion and all the hatred that was going back and forth between Colby. Even though a lot of that, I, I, most of that is all makeshift, uh, just garbage, just made up for hype. Uh, Colby's nothing of the sort of the person that he makes himself to be. Just like my brother wasn't wasn't War Machine. You know, he was John Copenhaver, and then they made him out to be something else because so, so that he could hype fights get a name and a following, and then my brother took it farther than he should have, uh, being an idiot. So uh, the fact that the fight, the fact that Colby runs his mouth so much kind of took away from the fact that we saw such an amazing Walter Waite performance. To me, it was one of the best uh, MMA fights that I've seen in a long time between two very evenly matched people. To me, the... Uh, Colby was winning that fight, and I thought if he could survive that last round, that he possibly would have won uh, the belt, and it would have been just awesome for the controversy. But uh, uh, good for Kamara Usman, and I'm glad that uh, we just have people who really want to be a good role models for our kids, and Usman is that, so I, I can't hate on any of that. Yeah, I had it um, even going into that final round, and honestly, the broken jaw starts to make sense. Uh, when you look at it, the whole scope of the fight on when it happened. I didn't necessarily expect there were going to be much wrestling. I did think there was going to be some, at least attempts, just to kind of feel out the waters, more just to have the threat out there than anything. But basically, the fight went... I mean, we didn't have a bet on this fight. We didn't. Um, I think in the end, pretty sure... Did we both pick Colby in the end? Or was it just me? We, did we both pick him? We we picked Colby because so many people were just discounting the fact that he was a good fighter. Yeah. But if you go back to just our other the other podcasts and the times we've talked about Usman, um, we we had Usman's back in the sense that I just we thought that he was a great fighter, a little bit bigger, stronger. I think we can go back and credit uh, Ash MMA, one of our old buddies, uh, who, who also liked Usman a lot too. But as you see everyone swaying and hating on Colby, it's just it's so hard to wonder if you're being swayed by the hatred and going on Usman for that or or what, you know. So I, it just was a great fight, and I'm glad that we just we both kind of knew that it was going to be evenly matched. Well, and that's like I, I I know I ended up picking Colby, but I wasn't sure if we both did uh, going back. But it's it's because what showed in this fight, it's like I, he. This we said at the end of the. Po- I know for a fact I said at the end of the podcast that this should be a pick 'em fight, and we have one of these fighters that's like plus one seventy, plus one eighty. It was a ridiculous number in my opinion, especially when I'm not saying if he wouldn't have got his jaw broken, he would have won, and that was a foregone conclusion. I'm not saying that because Usman was hitting with the harder punches; those still would have added up over time. We still don't know what the fifth round would have looked like, and going by the judges' scorecards. Uh, if I recall, the judges had it uh, 3-1 either side and 2-2. Two to two. So if that last round was still clear Usman, no matter what, it's like he would have lost a split decision. So, but maybe he would have been able to come on stronger in the fifth. I, I don't know. But uh, I know why I picked him because I've talked about my love for uh, volume strikers. Uh, especially when they'll put it on you and they could do it for all five. It's like, that's a pretty safe bet. A lot of times, man, he showed it early on, but I mean, big kudos to Usman. Um, I mean, normally I would say, what do you see next for both fighters? But I mean, I know, uh, broken jaw, that's like at least a six month heel. So we'll table the Colby thing. Um, 
and Usman, I'm not honestly at 170. I'm not sure who there is for him to fight right now, only because I think there's like at least three other fights that are bigger for Jorge Masvidal. And I don't know. Usman doesn't seem like someone that like fights super frequently, so I don't know. I guess who, what other welterweight other than Jorge Masvidal? Just because I'm not sure it's going to happen. You, would you like to see Usman fight next for the title? I mean, if George Gamebred Masvidal doesn't want to fight for the title, which he deserves and wants to wait for a bigger payday and wants to give it to someone else, the only person that I would give it to that I, I really don't like the fighter, I think he's just runs his mouth too much, especially to the OGs, and that's uh, Leon Edwards. But I think Leon Edwards is a great fighter, and uh, it would be still a, a entertaining fight. No, I agree. And actually, I think... Uh given that Usman is the last one to defeat Leon Edwards before Leon Edwards went on this run, I think he'd be able to beat him again and beat him quicker and like actually have a uh, highlight finish. So that, that actually might be a good thing.